Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Carter and in today's video, we are going to be talking about NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. We're gonna be talking about should you buy, should you sell, should you hold, and kind of what's going on with the company. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and guys, we do have a course and a chat room and you guys can literally get that for less than a cup of coffee which is crazy, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out, link in the description, and I'll put it pinged at the top of the comments so you guys can check that out. So what is going on with NVIDIA? Well, looking at the chart, you'll notice the stock has gone from lows here at $30 a share all the way up to $350, you know, just under 350. It hit 350 and just started to stair step its way back down all the way to as low as $142. So when this stock was trading for 142, it was like buying this all the way back in 2020, right? Giving you a massive discount for your shares just because the overall growth of NVIDIA is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. The overall net income growth for NVIDIA is up 78%, which is, which is crazy to me. I definitely think that NVIDIA for me carries so much long-term potential and a lot of people like to say, well, Carter, you know, you, you're paying a premium for this stock. The price to earnings is at a 47. And comparing that to other price to earnings for Apple, Apple always is rated right around a 20 to a 30. Right in that range is where you always find Apple. So I definitely think, yes, you may pay a little premium, but the mindset I have is one, when Amazon was trading for, you know, five, $600, it had a price to earnings at $3,200. 3200 was their price to earnings. So at the time, people thought, oh my gosh, why would I buy Amazon? Now looking back, you know, a couple years later, you may have paid a premium at the time, but looking back, it's almost foolish not to buy a couple of shares. I have a very, very similar mindset with NVIDIA, but I think the growth could be a lot stronger. And the reason why that is, is because looking at, looking at the growth for this stock is literally off the charts. So we've seen this stock go from, you know, lows here at about 170 bucks to $300 because of these crazy earnings. The beating expectations by $176 million and a dividend. So you're gonna get, a get, you're gonna get growth, you're gonna get dividends, and looking at this earnings right here, beating expectations by 277 million. And the craziest thing is they announced this, the stock popped up to three, you know, $346, and just started to stair step its way down. And you might be saying, well, Carter, why did that happen? Because of the general market selling off. The S&P 500, this was right around the beginning of the year. Right During this time, there was so much speculation in the market and just the general stock market was selling off. So growth stocks like Nvidia, growth stocks like Tesla, Microsoft, Google, all of these stocks that are considered more growth just started to stair step its way back down. Then they announced another earnings, beating expectations again by $223 million. And you'll notice the stock popped up, right? It went from you know 240 bucks all the way up to $260. And then it just started to stair step its way back down. We did get a little bit of some buying pressure at the support here, which was that old resistance. And it did make a move from two, about 223 all the way up to 290 and just started to stair step its way back down again. And then it announced another earnings. And what do you guessed it? Beating expectations by 171 million and a, and a dividend of four cents. And the stock actually popped up and just kind of consolidated and hasn't done much. So they're having great revenues, beating expectations by all of their metrics, by, by revenue, by you know profit margin, their profit margin right now is at 38%, which is crazy. Meaning for every hundred dollars Nvidia brings in, they profit 38 bucks. And you might be saying, well, Carter, that's not even that good. Comparing that to Apple, which is another tech stock, Apple only has a profit margin of about 22%. So they are absolutely killing it on that. On top of that, bringing in almost 30 billion dollars in 2022 with only a market cap of 432 billion. Yes, you may be paying a little more for that for that, you know, the the stock there with that premium, but the overall growth, I think we're going to get more 
We're, this thing is just the start. And, and I hate to say it, but this is an absolute buy. This is a stock that carries a lot of short and long-term potential. And I, I understand they have great growth, but the beauty of this is you're gonna be getting growth, right? You're gonna be getting a ton of appreciation. You're gonna be getting some dividends to start your compounding and some passive income. So you're gonna be getting growth, dividends, highly, highly solid stock that you don't have to worry about killing it on their revenues, killing it on their profit margin, on their net income growth. And the thing is, is yes, if the company is just making money hand over fist, but they weren't growing, why would you buy the stock? The net income growth is up 78%, and yet the stock is down almost 50%. So this does not make sense. It is a buy, and a good strategy that I would recommend is doing that dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging is a great way to invest into these growth stocks. What you're gonna do is you're gonna invest on a weekly, monthly basis into the stock. So as the stock pops up, you make money because you have some shares. But the beauty of it is given the volatility as the stock slowly starts selling off, you're making money You're making money, and you're averaging down that price. So once that stock recovers, you make even more. And you're gonna be getting some dividends. It's just a great way to invest. Dollar cost average, NVIDIA. Keep it under, I would keep it under 5% of your portfolio because it's still a growth stock and you do have to still be diversified into other stocks. But this one here is a no-brainer investment and one that I bought and I am going to continue to buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. And guys, overall, do your own research before you guys invest. This is just my opinion. And if you guys want to stay up to date on my stocks, I do have that chat room. So make sure you guys check that out. But we will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe. Take care, everyone.